what's the deal, man? It's the boy Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Appreciate everybody rocking with the boy Dwayne McLean, uh, uh, DM TV Nation, whatever we're gonna be calling it. But uh, yeah, somebody seen us hit put a comment up. We want me to blog on the Playboy Cardi situation of him wearing uh, female undergarments. Uh, he also want to speak on how the he finessed Aiden Ross and the streamers. Um, I really do know that these celebrities do 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 a lot of gimmicks, and I think this whole entire feminine movement they're putting on men is is the next wave of guys going to be weird, man. And uh, shouts out to the fathers out there sticking close to their sons, still giving off a good masculine image for the kids to see. So shouts out to them. But uh, far as you know, we got situations where you got these celebrities rocking this. There's going to be some kids caught in a crosshair who don't have any males look up to so they're going to look up to a guy like playboy cardi and he has lots of fans i don't know why y'all like him i don't like him i can't stand his music i think his music is very very t terrible it's very terrible i can't listen i don't like his voice and it's he has a lot of fans man people rock with him and i don't think people even care about the shenanigans at the end of the day um so if this happened back 2000 where it was a masculine ran hip-hop he would have got canceled but in today's society, I'm not putting past, nothing past nobody. They're wearing nail polish now. They're wearing dresses now. They're wearing purses now. You know, um, he was so he was leaving out of Kanye West studio session, dressed like that. Um, I mean, it made the tabloids. So it could be a gimmick. It could be. I do believe he wore it for Kanye. I do believe these guys is all giving chom chom to each other. I do believe that you can give chom chom up to pay for a verse. I do believe Cardi, uh, Playboy Cardi is giving up the chom chom. I think he is. Uh, that's what I think Aiden Ross gave him to come on stream. I think Aiden Ross paid them black men to come there to, he give them big bread to trash them out. And, and he gets to send the video off to the guys who want to watch a young teenage boy get thrashed out by black. They, they, the, the, the videos that go around to the powers that be are very, very graphic, disgusting videos. So I do believe Aiden Ross and this, and Charleston White exposed, exposed this. Charleston White said that he, he, Aiden Ross is trying to get him to do some chom chom stuff with him, so they can do some intertwining, and intermixing. And uh, I do believe Aiden Ross is paying these guys off to do that. You know, uh, Car Playboy Cardi came there with a mask on. Uh, he was ready for war, and I do believe he didn't get finesse. I think he gave Playboy Cardi what he wanted, and he probably said, "Hey, man, how much it is going to be for you to?" Do these acts with me? This is what Aiden Ross said to play with Cardi. In my opinion, what I think happened, he said, "How much is it going to cost you to do these acts on me?" And play with Cardi was like, "Hey, two mil, maybe a certain amount of money." He sent it, and it's going to cost tabloids and get people talking. Man, it's going to get people making videos. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, we all as people ask me my thoughts on it. I do know they're pushing this thing with with these males. Just man, these guys getting out of hand, man. They're getting out of hand, man. And nobody cares, man. It's he can wear female undergarments, grown man, and y'all gonna pay to go see him. Y'all still rocking with his music. His music's trashed me. And I'm telling you, man, in the future, it's gonna be a bunch of guys with guys in the future. That's what they really wanna push. This generation now, one out of every five kids is Chon Chon. One out of every five. It wasn't like that when I was growing up. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy they put stuff in the water. They're working really hard to push this out there. And they want it today, so they don't want no masculine men, man. It's it's, it's harder to run uh, and control with guys who want to stand up for themselves, guys who ain't scared to break a nail. You know what I'm saying? You got guys out here now who don't want to break a nail, man. Come on, man. What time of times we in? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. He's wearing uh, fishnets and all types of stuff. Like I said, I, I do think some of these guys might be full-blown carpenters and uh, electricians and stuff. Who knows? I highly doubt they turn any wrenches. But uh, what I'm saying is they're prob there's, a, there's a chance that they could be doing this type of act just so they can be on and or just so that they can have, um, just so that they can uh, get the tabloids, get the attention. They're doing it for attention. Because if we just seen Playboy Cardi wearing regular clothes, leaving out of Kanye, would nobody be talking about it. But since he leaves out... Wearing uh, female undergarments. Come on, man. Come on. And see what I'm saying? It's females. I don't think no man should be wearing no nothing like that. Ain't no reason for no dude to wear that. For real. Like, I don't know, man. It's weird to me. It's weird to me to see all stuff like that.
you know, uh, had to, I know I had to check to see the, 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 the phone was recording. I, when I used the bad camera, I got a paranoia that the, I ain't going to get no, it's going to quit recording on me. So I get recording every time I use the bad camera. But as far as the Aiden Ross thing and these streamers, we got to seriously talk about that. Little kids watching this, let your kid know you're not going to make it as no streamer, Aiden Ross. And my son, I hope you don't think in his head that he's going to be on the television screen acting crazy. No. You can do this YouTube thing. You can do it. Do it maturely. I had that little crazy. I still had crazy on the internet. It's cool. I'm crazy in real life, though. When y'all see me, you get crazy every day. I'm, an, I'm a, just insane. They like, no, man, you're, you really are Dwayne McClain for real. Don't go up, be yourself. If yourself is not entertaining, this might not be the lane for you. And I'm going to let these kids know, man. A lot of kids want to be YouTubers and streamers and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a lot of money into it. I don't, don't want to destroy your dreams. It's a lot of money into it. But don't think you're about to be Aiden Ross and Kai Sennett and I Show Speed Red. Them boys is down. Them boys kidding somebody. And they got friends and family in the industry. They know somebody, know somebody, know somebody, know somebody, know somebody. These streaming kids, man, they have a bad effect too. Because they're pushing Chon Chon heavy. Especially Aiden Ross. I guarantee you ain't a little middle-aged boy who watching that. His daddy ain't paying spending no time with him. Daddy's just being pops. So he's probably watching Aiden Ross and he's learning hearing those little corny jokes and they're doing all that. Them boys be corny, man. All of them, man. And I don't know how they even making that much money. Like, who why y'all watching them dudes, man? I don't see no reason to watch them. I see when I watch my content, I see a reason to watch me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if I am bummy. Still the most handsome man on the internet. I don't care if I am. Care if I am bummy. Still funny. You know what I'm saying? We try not to curse as much. You know, we gotta keep trying to get paid, but you know, we still act crazy in the lives. But I see there's like a reason why. These dudes, I'm like, why y'all subscribe to them? Like, they just yelling at the screen all day, being extra crazy. Like, it's for kids, or kids are gonna support it. And then people know children are the biggest, the biggest consumers. Kids. Kids are the biggest. People, parents buy for their kids. It's not. It's not nobody older. Older people are not. That's why when people do they, they like a celebrity do his tours, and uh, they don't get big venues for like you ain't about to get no no stadium for no uh, cameo uh, Percy Sledge. I don't even know Percy Sledge live. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like when they do the the old people, older artists come back, and the old and people who are older gotta buy tickets. And you ain't about to beat no, you're you going to expect a, a low return. You know what I'm saying? And that's why on the radio, they don't want the songs the kids can't sing. Kids are the, are the number one target, man. They're targeting our kids. We got to do better as parents, man. We got to do better as parents. Cause, uh, you got your Kai Sinus out there trying to get kids comfortable with going to, to jail. He went to jail for seven days and streamed it. Streamed it live. And he's around all the top celebrities who are all getting down. And I'm I'm sitting here, I'm like wondering where they, how they blow up so fast. Like they, I don't know, they 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 might have like I said, they, they got decent fan bases. But I think once you get a certain fan base, you do have to take the oath. And I do feel like Aiden Ross paid Playboy Cardi to get thr thrashed out. I think all the rappers went, done ran up in uh but every last single artist that did a string with Aiden Ross, I think they ran up in him. My personal opinion. Aiden Ross is a goo back. And them goo, that's how them goo backs get down. Chon chon. I, I do think Aiden Ross gave it up to him. So it is what it is on that topic right there. But that's all I really had to say on it, man. Uh, I, we, we did an independent breakdown on it. Um, I do believe Playboy Cardi's down. That whole Red album was, was bad. He did a, and That whole entire Red album was letting y'all know who, he, who he's aligned with. You know, and it's not nothing else to expect. And that's him coming out of the studio with Kanye West. That's why I know Kanye West, that Jesus is King stuff was, was really false. We really got to check Kanye West on that because he's, he's really made a mockery of y'all religion, man. It's really, it's really bad. But uh, yeah, that's all, that's all I got to say on this topic. It's the Board of McLean, the Board of McLean TV, man. Everybody, y'all be safe. I'm out.